this may have been a mistake. This may <laughs> turn out to be a nightmare. In a truck made in the middle of last century, photographer Brian Bowen Smith is with a handful of friends. <laughs> Let's go to Louisiana. It's all worth it. They hitched a Winnebago to it and took off from Los Angeles to document how America is handling the COVID-19 pandemic. There's no way I'm going to sit still and not shoot. I'm going to do something. This may be one of the biggest things I've ever done in my life. We're actually hitting the road. I just wanted to personally thank you. You're beautiful. I just thought, since I don't have work and I'm not going to have work for a long time, how can I do something and make a difference using my skills? When I did the first one, I thought it was just really cool and fun. And it gave me that excitement that I have when I do jobs and when I do pictures all over again. How did you come up with the idea? I was on a <laughs> Zoom happy hour with our neighbors. And I said, here's the deal. I'll come, I'll drive by your house tomorrow and I'll take a picture through my truck. Because I just thought that'd be a cool idea because I can't get out of the car. When I saw it, I was like, whoa, my wife was like, that's dope. That's really good. Like you should do more of those. I always wanted to take pictures through the windows of my old um, Ford F100, the 58. I was sitting with my wife and I said, you know what? I think I'm just gonna do this across the country and get different people and different ethnicities and different cultures and see what's going on. She said, you'll ne you're will crazy. You'll never do it. And then two days later, I was gone. This is an old mining town called the Goldfield Town. Boom. Brian convinced a handful of other people to take this wild journey, including filmmaker Evan Stone, who is documenting the whole thing. That's my boy right there, Brian Bowen Smith with BBS Drive-Bys. Uh, we're going across the country doing a table book and a documentary. Brian's friend owns a Winnebago, and that's where they'll all stay. Also along for the ride, our fearless leader, tour manager Katie. So we all got tested. We all tested negative packed up some masks and hit the road. We can't stay at hotels. We don't want to be around people. So in the Winnebago, we can all stay contained. Mm -hmm. And then when I shoot from my car, I don't get out. So we really don't have contact with people, which is great. Wow. Where are you now? We had to go all the way up to Washington. And then we came back around, back to Vegas, Colorado. I was really grateful. Hillary Swank lives in Telluride and she hit me up and was like, you better come by here if you're going across the country. That's a bad invite, right? You guys come up, stay six feet away. It's so incredible what you're capturing. You're telling such a story that is going to be talked about forever. Brian is a professional photographer whose clients include Netflix, high-end fashion brands like Marc Jacobs, and celebrities like Gabrielle Union and Will Smith. No, there's no hair and makeup, there's nothing fancy. We do it the same way that I do everyone else. And, and like Reese Witherspoon told me, that puts everyone on the same playing field. Like, this is great. You know what I mean? And she's like, I love what you're doing and I want to help. It's not a celebrity thing. It's not a, it's an everybody thing. Common said that this is not the end, this is the beginning. I want to be able to do something that makes a difference and people remember that. I know you say, obviously, you're not getting paid to do this. How do you pay for this? Where is this money coming from? You I've, I've been making my savings. Wow. Yeah, and we've already broken down. Uh, does anyone know where I can get a uh, drive shaft for a 1958 Ford F100? We've been on the road seven days. We've been out of commission six times. We've had to replace the generator. We're good! Wow! yes! The truck fell off the trailer, the pin broke. How much money do you think you spent so far? Thousands. Wow. Yeah, thousands and between gas and food and... Oh repairs, equipment, daily things that are coming. And then we had to buy a brake, a whole brake system for the car. Cause I told Pearl, um, on the name of journey, you Pearl, right? Yeah, that's Pearl. Whoa, Pearl's back! Man, I gotta tell you, I'm so excited. I can't believe Uncle Joe, with the help of his wife, Mary, got Pearl fixed. And then when I went to pay him, he wouldn't accept any money. There's something happening in this world that's good, my people. And I'm telling you, I'm feeling it. We have an ongoing joke that our hashtag now is, it could have been worse. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh no. And then you're like, but we fixed it. We're back on the road. I think someone's definitely watching over us. And it might be the guy who you bought the truck from, right? You know what? 
I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Um, and unfortunately, he's not with us anymore, but we wanted to surprise him. And um, we drew, drove out, and when I called his daughter to kind of organize it, she broke the news that he had passed. His spirit lives on. He wouldn't sell this truck to anyone, she told me. He was waiting for the right person, and there was the purpose, and I believe that this is this purpose. And as cliche as it may sound, I'm so emotionally attached to this truck now, and I don't think I'll ever sell it. Whoa, look at this. This is very cool. Oh, goodness, well, that looks good. I actually love that shot. Everyone Brian captures on this journey will end up in a coffee table book he is creating out of the experience. All of the proceeds will go directly to those in need who participated. The book's title will likely be the Instagram hashtag for the series, BBS Drive-Bys. And a lot of these people, like with the girl from Vegas, she says, I never thought that I'd be in a book or let alone doing a photo shoot like this in my life. We're going to shoot a Native American woman in Albuquerque, New Mexico, who is headlining and taking care of all the tribes. Uh, we're number three in the country for COVID positive and uh, after New York and New Jersey. Uh, and just to give you the frame on that, we're 175,000 people in our tribe. She's getting stuff from trucks, making masks, because the government didn't send anything. Or like Chef Eduardo Garcia, whose story you'd have to see to believe. I love what you're doing with this whole series, man. So I wanted to fuel you on your way. I brought you some Polish deer sausage. He is a chef by trade and lives off the land, off the grid in Montana, where he grew up. And all his ingredients are fresh and he makes spices and, and like avocado olive oil and all that stuff from the land. He was out hunting and came across this big metal can that looked like a trash can. And inside of it, he noticed there was a bear that had died. So he wanted to cut the claws off to make a necklace. And as soon as he touched the bear, he got electrocuted and blew a hole in his head, blew his uh, hole in his arm, blew a hole out of his ribs and his thigh. By miracle, woke up and he said he knew he had to get to the main road. So he started crawling and he made it to the main road. The main thing that I took away from it is not the miracle of life that he's been given again. It's his attitude. And, and it's like that, that helped me get my mind set and get my mind right for this, for this mission that I'm on. It looks like this gnarly idea to drive across country in this old truck has turned out to be a series of little miracles and an energy exchange. Someone inspires him, he inspires someone else. So I'm looking at this like a reset button to, all right, let, let's just start over. And the best way to start over is when you get together and you all are going through the same thing. Rich, poor, white, black, brown. It's, we're all, we need to come together and now we need to be a planet. And, and I'm hoping that for humanity's sake, that's happening. Man, I gotta say, it's all worth it. There's nothing better. Nothing better in the world. You know how it is. Like, if you make someone smile or you make someone laugh, how good do you feel? For InsideEdition.com, I'm Stephanie Officer.